Stella's panic attack wasn't your fault. And I know for a fact that your your mom and, and Curtis, they are they are happy to have you out of that jail and back home. Nobody wants you punished for something you didn't do. I know, I, I know that, but I just I don't want to punish them either. The more this goes on, the more it affects the people I care about. I wonder. Wonder what? If it's not too late to take the plea deal. My motives are my own, Miss Wu. This is a one-time transaction. Mm. Mr. Ashford, you misunderstand. Let me be clear. I'm offering a business opportunity that's mutually beneficial. Rest assured, you'll profit from this arrangement. As a gesture of good faith, here's a down payment for the use of your premises. As I've said, it's not money I'm after. What then? I need to acquire information I have no access to. And perhaps you do. What is this information? A witness protection file, along with related sealed arrest records. The subject being? Marshal Ashford. I'll do my best. Then we have a deal. They offered me a deal. Plead guilty to the misdemeanor charge. I'd probably avoid jail time, but that's, you know, that's not guaranteed. You didn't take it. Because I didn't do anything wrong. It was a setup. But how do I convince the jury that I didn't do that when Spencer did it? And he knows me. Or at least I thought he did. Forget him. That boy's not worth your time. You have to focus on what's best for you now. But isn't that selfish? I see what this is costing everyone. Mom and Curtis, they should be enjoying their new home. And their new life, not dealing with all of this. And then there's Joss and Cam. And I know they will defend me. But that brings the spotlight back on them. It brings the spotlight back on the sex tape. How can I do that to them? What are you saying? If I plead guilty, this is all over. Isn't that worth it for the people that I love?